People who refuse to let police search your vehicle during a normal run of the mill traffic stop, what happened next? Back in 2001, I was 17 years old and picked up my buddy from work at 11 pm on a Friday, who was also 17 years old. I was waiting in front of the grocery store where he worked. He ran out of the store just being an idiot and got in my truck. There was a police car behind me. Police car followed me out of the parking lot and immediately pulled me over. He asked if he could search my truck. My truck was a tiny two-seater. If we'd stole anything, there was no place to hide it. I said, for what reason? He just asked to search it again, and I said no. He could see that my buddy was still wearing his work clothes. Cop came back and gave me a ticket for having a clear license plate cover. They were legal at the time, but said it was cloudy and obstructing my plate. Obviously looking for something to punish me for. I pled not guilty to the ticket and requested a trial. Went to initial hearing, told judge the story, and showed judge the cover, that it was clear. Asked me to just leave it uninstalled and threw out the ticket. The one time I've declined it went like this. Cop. Why does your vehicle smell like marijuana? Me. I wasn't aware it did. Cop. May I search your vehicle? Me. Not really? Cop. Okay, have a nice day. This was a once-off. Before that I was dumb and let them search my car. That was the last time I've been pulled over, so I'll see what happens next time. Car smelled like weed because my dumbass friend brought his packed pipe and stuck it in the glove box. Calmly refused the search. Cop said that was fine, but now he was going to call the dogs to come have a sniff. Made us sit and sweat for about 20 minutes, then walked up, said I was lucky, and he had been called away somewhere else, and to not drive stoned. I'm an attorney and politely declined a vehicle search in Maryland. Backup arrived. I was never told why I was pulled over, nor did I ask. After declining the search, they brought the canine, which inevitably hit, after I saw the officer give the dog the signal by tapping on the door three times. Of course, they tore my car apart and found absolutely nothing as I don't do drugs, drink, or take any medications beyond the occasional multivitamin. I'm in law enforcement and know that many, many police officers train in a backdoor signal to drug K9 that manufacture probable cause to search. They might tap a couple of times or say a code word, and the dog will hit whenever they do. Nothing ever came of the stop after six cruisers, eight officers, and a K9. All because I refused a search and politely refused to answer any questions. After the stop was over, I was issued a warning for 37 in a 35. I also made sure to alert the officer handling the K9 that the dog's false positive needs to be added to the dog's report as it's discoverable evidence the next time he secures an arrest. He didn't like that. I refused to give consent to having my car searched. I was then asked to get out of my car and take a field sobriety test. I declined and insisted that I be given a blood test instead. I was taken to the ER. While my car was impounded, my blood alcohol level was determined to be 0.0, .0 because I had not been drinking. I was still expected to pay to get my vehicle out of impound, where it had been searched for safety reasons. Nothing illegal was found, of course. Not only did I refuse to pay, but the damage done to the car in their search was extensive. They didn't search the car in the impound lot, they just vandalized it extensively, including ripping up carpet, shredding the car seat's vinyl, and stuffing, smashing windows, and ripping off door panels, and poking holes in the gas tank. I sued in court over this whole thing, and since the cop who initially pulled me over kept lying to the judge about his reasons, and getting caught in those lies, since he thought he had turned off the dash cam in his car, he assumed that he couldn't be heard or seen when he and the other cops he called to the scene conspired to penalize me for refusing the search. I won. I won so much I was able to get an even nicer car on the taxpayer's dime. Nothing, of course, happened to the cop who fabricated the whole situation. K9 officer walks his dog around my car after I said he did not have permission to search after a broken taillight stop. Dog hits. I ask him how he knows. He's specially trained. Searches my car, finds nothing, but someone definitely smoked weed in this car. They didn't. Favorite part of that stop is my car was messy AF. So he had to sift through everything just to find nothing. I just told him no, I'm not consenting to a search. The cop brought a K9 in to sniff the outside of the vehicle. No idea why, because I was only pulled over for an expired inspection sticker. 
He seemed a bit irritated when nothing was found and wrote me a ticket for the sticker. He could have written the ticket at the beginning and saved us both an hour. At a DUI checkpoint, an officer asked to search my car. I made it perfectly clear that I do not consent to searches. So the officer claimed to smell weed coming from my car and that magically gave him probable cause to search. I haven't smoked weed in over 10 years and my car has never had weed inside, smoke or otherwise. It seems cops are using the I smell weed excuse to circumvent search and seizure laws. I had an old Honda with bad paint. The panels of the car were different shades of the same color. Officer told me straight that my car looked like a drug carrier's car. After I declined to cooperate, they brought out the dogs, found nothing, and I was begrudgingly allowed to leave. For about the next two years, I was pulled over all the time. Always with a made-up reason, like saying I crossed over a dividing line. It was very frustrating, and I tried to find out the magic formula to be on my way quicker. I tried letting them search once. That was a mistake. My car was so aggressively searched as they tried to find hide spots that I knew to never do that again. Plus it didn't save any time. I tried different ways to talk to approaching officers, tried short and sweet, tried super respectful, tried asking about the legality of my stops. All methods generated the same reaction. Some accusation or questioning of why I was being suspicious or nervous. Oh yeah. 90% of the time, when I refused a search, they brought the dogs. I never cracked the code. I did learn a lot about officers during those two years. Only in the very first incident did the officer reveal that my car was basically profiled. The others knew better. Police officers, they're all different, but they're also all the same. Two different times my car was approached with gun drawn in officer hand. It sucks to be broke and look broke. Pulled over for not turning my lights on in a parking lot. Realized they were off and turned them on before getting to the road. The cop asked if I'd been drinking, to which I replied no. He asked if I had any open containers, to which I said no, and I stated I didn't consent to a search when he asked if I minded if he checked. He then informed me that turning your lights on late was a sign of being drunk, so he really needed to check. I said that I'd already responded that I hadn't, and I still wasn't consenting to a search. He then went straight pissy mode, claiming he was just going to give me a warning until I started getting all unfriendly with him. I told him that I agreed that I turned my lights on fairly late, but he was effectively calling me a liar to my face. So unless he had reasonable suspicion and I was being detained, I'd be happy to take my ticket and move on. He cut me off just before the end of it and said I was free to go. It's sort of like a game to them, but if you're saying enough of the right words, they have to decide if they have anything better to do that night or not. Luckily for me, it seemed there were other things for him to do. A lawyer guy on YouTube just revealed that the police won't necessarily ask to search your car, but they'll say things like, I see something odd in your back seat, can I take a look at that? Or, you have a taillight out, pop your trunk and let me see if it's a wiring issue. No officer, you're not a qualified mechanic and maybe not even a good electrician. So I'll get that looked at by my guy. I got searched anyway. FYI, when this happens, just state your refusal to give consent and don't answer any questions without a lawyer present. They can lie and manipulate you into giving consent. Sure, they'll probably search your car anyway, but the time to fight that is in court. Officer, I do not consent to a search of my person or vehicle. Am I being detained? The last bit is kind of a meme, but it's an important question to ask. If you can, record the interaction. I have a dash cam that's meant for Uber drivers, but after my experience with the cops, I have it angled so it can record me and my interactions at a traffic stop. I was sent on my way with a warning. A friend and I were leaving a New Year's Eve party and got pulled over. The officer asked if we had been drinking, I hadn't, and was driving. He then asked if he could search the car for any open containers of alcohol which I declined. He then said I had been swerving and to pay better attention. I wasn't swerving. My girlfriend's mom was a traffic court judge and told me this was most likely an attempt to get the first arrest or ticket of the year and win an office pool. Since I wasn't obviously doing anything, he didn't want to waste his time and sent me on my way. Was at a gaming party with my colleague bros. We played COD till 2 a.m. Went to drive home and I saw a cop outside the house I was hanging out at. As soon as I left, he followed me and pulled me over. I asked why I was being pulled over as I barely got to even leave the driveway. 
He told me he ran my plates and that the vehicle was stolen. Turns out, he never ran my plates, just wanted to check if I was drinking. Was very upset to be pulled over for a false cause. Told him only thing I had to drink was Mountain Dew and Monster Energy. I went through cop school and graduated. Had a change of conscience after graduating and an undetected heart defect was also going against me. Let me just say this. Regardless of whether you have anything illegal in your car, never consent to a search. Regardless of whether you have anything illegal in your car, never agree to wait for a drug dog when they threaten to call for one. Record all interactions, just as they do with you.